Hey everybody, so today's topic of request is social anxiety. Well, many people suffer from social anxiety, me being one of them. I consider myself socially awkward, misfit kind of comes to mind. But ironically, I'm one of those people that when I come around people, people stare and they approach me anyway kind of like a catch-22 so being completely honest you ever feel like people look at you and like you have like a booger hanging out your nose or something in your hair no, seriously in your head as they're approaching you you hear things like why are you wearing that what's wrong with your hair it's all in your head well that's anxiety so it's actually more normal than you believe i'll have the statistic at the bottom if you don't believe me while well, you're stuck in your house for at least another week um talk to your friends and family and ask and you'll see going to work going to a party wedding speech all kinds of things create anxiety for them even if you're wearing a new hat shoes or dress sometimes it's just the excitement of like when you want to see you know someone you you notice or someone actually notices you and you don't know what to say when do you speak or how you speak and guess what that's normal as normal is i tell you i came up with a quick mr Taz top five ways i've lowered my anxiety consistently hope it works if you choose to use it so number one smile and own the issue yes smile when you enter the room I smile at people who are in front of me most of the time, but what I've learned is that it makes everyone kind of at ease and more relaxed. Try it. Number two, stay in control of your breathing. Learn how to breathe. If you sing, you need to know how to breathe. When you talk, you need to know how to breathe. So take deep breaths and you can re actually reset your mind. Number three, take time for yourself. I am a very helpful person and it will drain you to where you become resentful and you're not having time for yourself. So do that. Number four, you can listen to music, express yourself. Um, I listen to music and I write songs, I write poetry, I draw, I paint, I write scripts, find things I like to do and I escape the madness. Number five, the hardest one, cut out or cut down sugar and caffeine it's immediate reduction in anxiety um it actually magnifies the issue no i'm not a doctor but i know this for a fact you can even check on the link on the bottom my closing is i've learned the biggest thing is mostly with me in anxiety is that most of these things don't even exist and it's in your head so fear and fear is a real equator to your anxiety if you like a balance beam if you let it move too much to one side of fear then you just don't do anything and if you think you're just all that you run into things so it's kind of like you have to just have a balance and most of the time it's just making sure that if you don't feel right then it ain't right have a good one